Hey guys, I'm Will Patterson and in this video today I'm going to be showing you some 3D tools inside of Adobe Illustrator to create something like this. In fact, you can make nearly any shape in Illustrator look realistic and 3D without having to know very much at all. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to just bring out some random things here. Let's turn these to, I don't know, like a nice pink. We'll create something like this all the way through. What we're going to do is press Command 8. What Command 8 does is it changes the paths or the shapes into a compound path. Essentially, that means that Illustrator sees all these different shapes as one continuous path. And it's important to do that for this next step. We're going to get up to Window and 3D Materials. This is going to open up this nifty little box. You may have seen, you may not have seen. It's all kind of new. We've got a bunch of options to choose from in this case. We've got Planes, which will create a flat 3D object. So it's gone 3D. We have the 3D panel so we can move it around in 3D space. However, it doesn't look very 3D. The next one is Extrude, which you can see becomes a bit more 3D. And in fact, it is 3D, but it's kind of sharp and doesn't look very good. The next one is Revolve, which is going to screw around with everything and create this. That's right, 3D space has just made a new dimension in Illustrator. <laughs> It looks pretty cool, but we've got the shadows and the highlights. And then, we, of course, we've got inflate, which is what we want today. Now, this looks okay. We've got the sort of options here. We can move this around however which way we like with the actual 3D orientator in the middle here. However, we want to keep our 3D objects to a certain rotation. So we're going to go down here to the presets and they've got these really nice presets all laid out for us. We've got isometric top, which is the one that I normally go for. Now that looks pretty good. I like that, but we can use anything that we like. We can look at the bottom. We can look at the right isometric left isometric bottom and top. I'm going to keep it at top for now, but we can always change it later. That's the great thing about this tool. And just so you know, we don't have to have this just half inflated. If I inflate both sides, you'll see that it becomes two sided. We can even change the depth right here inside of Illustrator super easily. We haven't had to do anything else. Now, the next thing we're going to do is move over to the right to materials. We get these different boxes up here or these different menus up here for the different stages. So we're sort of like setting the stage for our 3D object here. And then we've got to move over to the materials tab. Now, inside of Illustrator, there are a bunch of materials, but you can actually add materials in as like single graphics. You can actually bring them in from Adobe Substance or Substance 3D, should I say. But there are plenty of materials to choose from. However, I like to choose the default one because we can still do a lot of things with this with just the default version. Now, down here in the properties panel, we can actually change some of the properties of this. We can increase the roughness, which will make it less shiny. And then if we decrease it, it will make it more shiny. You can't see this yet, though, because there is this tab at the top here is this little nifty button it's render with ray tracing now this button allows us to render it out as a preview and as you can see here it's done a pretty good job of rendering it out it still looks flat but this is a good way of just looking at your work as like a quick preview if we go to the type round here we can render it in a high preview like this, which will take a bit longer to render out, obviously, but it will do it in a higher quality. However, right now, I don't want to be looking at that because I want to make sure my computer can't fry an egg yet. We've also got a metallic feature down here, which will make it essentially just like metal. So it'll get darker depending on where the light is because metal reflects more. Let's move over to the lighting tab, the last tab. Lighting is where people get most confused with 3D. It's the most important part as well because without light, we wouldn't have good 3D objects. Luckily for us, inside of Illustrator, Adobe have been very clever and just given us presets. We've got standard, diffused. Diffused is essentially like the light I've got here. Big source. It doesn't have many reflections. The shadows are very soft. Top left and top right. Now, if I went to standard, we can change the intensity of the light like so and the rotation of the light as well. The great thing about it is you can actually change a lot of these properties on the fly, like the height and also how soft you want the light to be as well. Ambient light is the light reflected of other surfaces 
like the artboard for instance and you can see if i turn it off and on it just adds that extra level of depth if i turn it off but we're going to leave it on because we can change the intensity so we can be in a very brightly lit room so this isn't taking the key light which you can see here this is taking the ambient light that's affected by the key light also shadows is a huge part of 3d as well obviously we're going to go and press shadows on and you'll start to see it looking a bit more better now we're going to change the shadow bounds to make sure that we can have the shadows all be seen all the way through. And we're gonna go ahead and press this button here, which will just ray trace it out for us a little bit. It's gonna render it out into a preview. Now, depending on how many objects you've got on it, it will take time. Like you're seeing here, it's just a loading bar. Do not be disturbed by this. And boom, there we go. We've got a really shiny and that looks really real. It's kind of scary. Now we're gonna increase the softness of this light and it's gonna re-render out. But if you wanted to see the preview of it on the fly, turn this render off. So don't turn the preview on. Now with more of a soft light, we actually get more of a realistic effect. It's actually pretty crazy. Look at that. It is actually insane how good that looks. And that is inside of Illustrator with Illustrator shapes. If I click on it, you can actually see the shape still. Now there's so many more options to choose from inside of here. And this is just the beginning. But 3D is becoming more of a thing now in design, in just general design. Hence why it's in Adobe Illustrator. You're able to create anything you want from characters to making your logo 3D and seeing how it would work in 3D space. The goal of this channel is to make you become a better creative professional, a better graphic designer in every video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.